What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Cindy Winters. I am so excited because this is a special, special video. I'm going to be working with the winner of the Warrior Challenge, Miss Makari Nichelle. I am so honored and grateful. She killed this verse. I sent out a challenge to all of my friends in the universe, 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 to check out the song Warrior. I created a space in the song where you can create your own rap, you can, you can recite your own spoken word, or you can create your own melody. Out of all the people who submitted, Miss Makari was the winner. This is our session. Enjoy. I'm gonna rise like a phoenix. From the ashes of doubt, I'm winning. I'll fight for my life. I'll fight for what's right. I'm a soldier. I'm stronger, a warrior. That is, that is a good one. I love it. I love it. So you were doing all of, you were auditioning, going to school, and you were also like going through treatment at the same time and doing all of that? Yeah, so school stopped on the 13th of March, 16th yes. of March. She was diagnosed with Hodgkin's on March 20th. Of all this year? Mm -hmm. yeah, how's your journey been since then? Because you've been at the house with Dorona, so... Right, right. Um, it actually kind of worked out, though, because we were a little nervous that, like, it was crazy that all of this was happening right when corona was happening. So I was like, wow, I'm going to have to be fighting cancer along with try not to get a deadly virus. Okay. But it kind of worked out because um, that meant not a lot of people were in the hospitals. So I was kind of, like, secluded there, isolated there. And I was able to go in and out because nobody was there to mess up that traffic or anything. So it worked out pretty nicely. Things kind of picked back up as people were like, oh, Corona isn't leaving in two weeks. I guess we should get back into life-ish. So, but it, it was it was nice. I mean, not the process. <laughs> I'm not going to say cancer is nice, but I was okay. It I wasn't was okay. as bad as we thought it would be. Yeah. And I think it just helped because she stayed so positive the whole time. Throughout this whole process, I've definitely had those moments where I just kind of like break. It's like, I just got to take a second and just like breathe, calm it down and just like kind of rebuild whatever, what was broke, rebuild what was broken. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it was my friend's birthday. So I was looking for like videos and things of her. And so I was just like going through my camera roll and I was on like Google Photos where it's like just this plethora of all these videos from like long ago. Well, not too long ago. I started like these vlog things where during my like cancer journey and I would just like talk to the camera and talk about randomness or talk about like things that were relevant to like the cancer situation. So I thought it was funny how not necessarily that I would put on a front because I've gone through a lot of interviews and things like that and different talks just with different people and they always recognize just how strong and positive I am but like in half the videos that I was watching I was like in tears in some of them I was like just mad saying how awful this was and I was like how did I get from this to this that everyone sees like how did I go from sad Add crazy angry Makari to oh my gosh I'm so happy even though I have cancer Makari. You going through what is it supposed to look like and does it look like one way all the time? Mm. Is it is it gonna go up and down and it is, is it okay for you to feel the way that you feel when you're feeling it? Yeah so when people say those types of things I just feel like I need to live up to that but it's not like I need to fake it because I know I have that within me. Right so. I see I see. Yeah. And what does it mean to be strong? What does it even look like? Does does strong include crying? I mean, I would think sometimes it does. Like, why not? Okay, so I always have this story in my mind, but there's this camp. I mean, my friends used to go to every single summer and we went to like this country campsite for like a week. And so they brought like guests, speakers, and preachers, and just ministers, and they would just talk. So there was this one time, I guess the sermon just like really spoke to everyone that day. And like, we, people were like speaking in tongues, just talking to God. And I was kind of, I was trying to get there, but I couldn't. It wasn't that I couldn't, but it like, people were saying, oh my gosh, I heard his voice. I was talking to Christ. He was talking to me. He was there with me. And like, I felt him, but it wasn't like I was 
really communicating. So I've always felt that. I've always had that barrier that I feel like not necessarily a lot of people experience. So, I mean, I definitely want to grow in that to where I feel like I can truly talk to God, Christ, and just not feel like I'm just talking to no one. Depending on where you go, God will speak to you differently. I think, you know, everyone's going to experience God differently. You, we experience God in the, in the roads, in the miles that we've traveled. Mm -hmm. across the country. We've seen God in such a different way that is not limited to just the church you attend, you know? So what I have was what I said before, rebuild what's broken, strength through the tears. And then I just kind of elaborated a little bit on putting on that front and having that pressure to be what everyone just sees you as, but instead letting that pressure and stress um, really just conflict within me, letting it strengthen me and encourage me. And then you said that inward journey of really just connecting as to how you would experience life and just my own path. It can be different than other people. Just follow my own path. It doesn't need to be what Sally has, what Christine has. It can be what Makari has. And then I will be my own hero. Underlined her. <laughs> Yes. Miss Cindy, I have a question. Yes, my love. With the bridge, is it following like the same structure as like the different verses or it's just like literally how I hear it? Makari. <laughs> okay. You know, we'll experiment. If you hear it in a different way or you hear it similar to what I did, it's up to you. Okay. Straight through the tears That pressure to be what they see Instead of letting that stress me, I'll have it encourage me. I'm gonna rebuild what's broke, broke back. I'm gonna be my own hero. Something. I don't know. I don't know. I love it. I love it. Makari, it sounds so good. I love it. Like, I'm. Uh. Something. <laughs> yes. Did I say instead? What even? Okay. Welcome to songwriting, boo. Have you written a song before? <laughs> sort of. I mean, I have like this little poem book and uh -huh. it's like a topic and then it has words that it wants you to put in to the poem. So I wrote something, I think I called it like book wave. And then I had this summer intensive that I was auditioning for and they wanted an original piece. So I was like, all right, I could recite this poem just like straight out or I could like turn it into a song or something. So I kind of used that to like make it a song. So I don't know if you would count that as like songwriting, but. So you're nailing it. Yeah. So you're a songwriter. Great. <laughs> This was amazing. Oh my goodness. I'm so blown away by you and your talent and your inspiration, your lyrical content, your, your melodic flow, your writing <laughs> skills. Girl, you got something. You, you working on something there. I think we might have something here. We out here writing songs to empower the people. Yes. <laughs> That's right. Boom. Wow. That's awesome. We out here. Should it be what they see? Instead of letting that change me, whatever it is, I'm ready. I'm gonna be my own hero. Rebuild what's broken. I'm here to stay. Makari, whoa, big things. Uh, big up yourself, girl. <laughs> big up yourself. Uh, what do you think, mom? I think it's amazing. <clears throat> She's here to stay. Oh my gosh. That's awesome.
bomb. And it's she just wrote blown. that. She wrote that, honey. During our creative time, we were talking about how we connect spiritually to God, to the universe, and how, you know, we all experience things differently. Do you believe that your faith or your spiritual fortitude is what helped you get through this, your relationship with God, your relationship with yourself? Yeah, I know we were talking how I felt like I needed to connect with him in a certain way, but thinking back, like the music, it helped me. I would play my gospel music in the morning, bop, bop, bop jumping, screaming, dancing. Like I, I was going through those videos and I saw when I was like, I was just listening to my gospel music. Na, 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 na. So yeah, it really helped. Well, I am so happy that you are doing so well. Your vibrant smile, your energy is just beautiful. I am so honored and grateful that the both of you took the time to spend it with me. Wow, my gosh, you guys. Makari, Nichelle, an amazing talent. She is a vocalist, an actor, a dancer. She's 16 and she just built that bridge, honey. So I'm so, so, so excited to share with you this song, Warrior. If you like this video and you wanna see more like it, hit the like button and subscribe. Comment in the sections below. I wanna hear what your thoughts are on our session. Mm -hmm.